hello beauty queens and yes i'm back with another video this video will be some of my favorite urban um authors and um some of my favorite urban novels uh so the kind of books that i like so first things first you guys have already seen me in this attire and this look because i just filmed a video on this look here using all mac cosmetics uh products and i hope you guys enjoyed that video but this one is not about makeup this um video is about my urban fiction um books what i like to read um so i'm gonna start off and i also have some notes here because i know somebody complained the last time so i'm trying to take my time because i don't want to over talk myself i want to take my time I also wrote down some key points that I want to say and I'm also going to be putting here or here maybe here um, pictures so you guys can follow along um, so first things first I use Amazon Kindle Unlimited so basically what basically what that is is a subscription to where you can read unlimited books that they have marked for the Kindle Unlimited now you do have some books that are not unlimited free um maybe like some of the older books like for instance it's this book i've been wanting to read called cameron and it's not on there however it is i want to say on the apple uh i books or something so that's just an that's just an example or um and also they do have an app for like your local library and all that jazz so that's another that's another um video but I do do the Kindle Unlimited and it is $9.99 a month, I think, about $10 a month. And like I said, you do read unlimited books. But the thing is, you can only keep 10 books in your um, library at a time in rotation. So fair enough. I mean, if you're done reading a book, you can return it, download another book, and so on and so forth from there. So I kind of want to go over with you guys my favorite authors um and also my favorite books that i love that are urban fiction i love urban novels i've probably been into urban novels for about a year or so now and they um they occupy a lot of my free time i just love reading i read um on my lunch breaks in line waiting on my son from uh, football practice um just around the house when i have a chance and yes yeah, so i love 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 reading and this is coming from a person who actually did not like reading before but i do like these type of books and i guess it's all about finding something that you are interested in okay so first things first and like i said i will be posting pictures so you guys can follow along first person i want to talk about is soul hands down soul is one of my favorite authors you can start from the front to the back on her books you cannot go wrong whatsoever soul is like is she is the bee's knees um you guys may know her she's famous for the plug next door series and also i like a couple of books that came before that series that they kind of link together like i like when books have a character from another book and it kind of goes on and on and on like that so soul is definitely definitely like the bee's knees to me um casey mill is a good author i especially like the book that she did with soul um forever the plug's wife casey mills is an author it's kind of hit and miss with her sometimes for me i do like her I do like some of her books uh i especially like the ones that she she's linked in with soul so Yes, Casey Mills. Uh, Ellie Kaysen is another author that I do love so much. Ellie Kaysen has um, this series called The Beauty of the Street Love, I believe it is. Now, when it came to Angel and I forgot her name, they had their own type of book spinoff thing. I didn't actually read that because I was kind of over it. You know, sometimes when you, you read something you kind of are over it at some point so who knows i may go back and read it because she did have a book that i thought i wasn't gonna like it was about music or whatever because most of the time i'm gonna be honest with you guys we're friends here most of the times the type of books that i like are like the kingpins and all that jazz or um 
I have found that I do like some of the like famous comic books, but my personal favorite is when the guy or I've even read some books where the girl is the kingpin. And so I kind of like those books and I like when the men are dominant. So that gives you guys a feel of what type of books that I like. Hence the reason why some of these books are my favorite. Like I mentioned, The Plug's Wife, God is like a major character in that, um, I'm sorry, The Plug Next Door. And God is like the dominant character in that book. So, um, yeah, that just kind of tells you what I like. And he's like the head man in charge. So, um, Beauty of the Street Love, Trey, I think his name is on there, that he's kind of dominant. So, so on and so forth. That's the kind of books that I'm into. So, Ellie Kaysen, I was telling you guys, love that series, Beauty of the Street Love. She also has some other books that are also good. Natavia. Natavia is one of those authors that I don't, I don't have a whole lot of books that I read from her. But the books that I have read from her are really good. Now, I'm uh, confused about a couple of things because I've read a book from Natavia, Natavia Stewart. So, I'm assuming that that person is the same because I notice sometimes that they do change their name or, you know, reinvent themselves. So, I'm thinking that Natavia and Natavia Stewart are the same people. If they are, I do love the book Damages. And I also just read a book from Natavia that's called um, Dear Heart. I love her books. I like all of her books. The only books that I'm not a fan of, and I'm saying this and I've never read them before, are those um, those books like what animals and all that people turn to animals and all. I'm, I'm just not into that kind of stuff. I told you what I'm into. So maybe if that's your thing, Natavia is definitely the girl. I love all of her books except I don't read those like um like i like urban fiction but that is just too too fiction for me like i'm trusting and i'm the girl that loves harry potter twilight and all that but it's just that i'm not i'm not into that when i'm reading i guess you could say next miss lady p hands down miss lady p is another one that's the bees needs to me i feel like you can start from the front to the back with her books and get enjoyment out of all her books just like so um, Miss Lady P is famous for Thug Passion, and again, Thug is one of those dominant characters. Uh, he's a kingpin, he's dominant, and yeah, I just love, love those type of books. They all kind of have the same kind of feel to it, but everybody will have a different story, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like reading the same book over and over and over boy meets girl girl fall in love have kids and all that it's everybody has their story like these are people to me like after reading this and and i'm sure if you're a reader you understand what I'm, where i'm coming from so yeah i absolutely love miss lady p so much another person i read before and read a couple of this and um i got this name from the last um youtube video i did and that was Portia Sterling. She's she's a pretty good um reader. I can't recall any of the books per se, but I do know she has some pretty good books. Jessica Watkins also is a good, good, good one. Um, I can't recall at the moment, and I caught myself writing some notes down. But these are just uh, authors that you guys told me to check out, and I did check them out, and I love their books. You guys told me to check out a couple of more people, and um. These are just, I just went through my um, book because it'll show you what you've read, what you returned, and I just looked and seen what books caught my eye. And yeah, so Jessica Watkins, I do remember being a great author, so you can check out her books. I have Eris. Eris, I love her books. So I have a couple of people that I don't even have to read. Soul is one of, I don't have to read like the summary, I just download their books. Soul is one. Um, Natalia, as long as it's not, you know, those crazy, like, books. Miss Lady P, Eris is one of them as well. And I'm going to tell you about another one in a minute. Eris, I love her books. But I'm waiting on a part two for all, um, uh, I think it's called Trying to, uh, Wife of Savage is the name of Eris's book. But I'm waiting on parts two of that. And that book is absolutely great and um, I don't want to give away anything but if you have not read all uh, I'm sorry not all 
Trying to Watch a Savage. Trying to Watch a Savage is amazing. Love that book. It um it's really it's kind of different from what I like. So that's um it's a pretty good book. Trine is also a great author. Coco Shandy. Coco Shandy is one of the ones that I first uh I think her, I don't know if her book was first or I know it was one of the first and she had a, a series called uh Trill Love love her but she's another one that i really don't even read her summaries i kind of just download it anyway because i'm um i pretty much like all of her books and she's also one that i think revamped herself i forgot what her original name was but it was something dior but i know there there are writers out there who go by different names um i forgot to tell you guys about it chase sedora but I have her next to Soul's name because Soul, she links up with a lot of different writers. And so Chase Sedora is, um, so I don't know if I would like her by her books by herself. But I do know the books that she has with Soul are really good along with Casey Mills that uh, she's written books with Soul as well. Um, next I have Lucinda John. Lucinda John is that girl. Like she is the one of the people like that I say when I don't have to read a summary to download their book, definitely hands down Lucinda John. You can read her from start to, from the beginning to the end, um, from front to back. She is a great author. I love, love, love Lucinda John. I'm always waiting to see uh, what book she's gonna have pop up. No matter where I'm at, if I see it, I'm downloading it, no questions asked. And uh, another one is Nikki Brown. She's a good author. I can't exactly remember which ones I like, but I do know that she, I've seen her in my, um, my library several times from me returning books. So she's another one. And also one of my, my last one of my favorites is Bianca. She is amazing as well. I found her later on. One day I just scrolled across uh, a Mayhem Love and boy was that like totally different so a mayhem love is kind of like your um i guess you would say your hood type dominatrix maybe like i've never read 50 shades of gray but kind of your the black version of it if that makes sense but um yeah i really really love 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 mayhem i love them to the point um to where i wasn't done like you know how you read something and you just didn't get enough of that person so you were just trying to find any like i had even i was so i wanted to read that book so bad again that i just re-downloaded it and reread the uh, mayhem love i think it's a one two and three and i i think when i first found that book it was only one and two out so i was so i was so hoping to get i was just so itching to get back to him that i was willing to read read the first one but then i found out it was a book that came out before mayhem love which was called malice love which was his brother so uh, mayhem is the older brother malice is the younger brother and they both have their own type of books both books are amazing and I was a little hesitant about reading A Malice Love because Mayhem was so, oh, it was such a good book. But A Malice Love was good too from the beginning to the end. So I was so geeked when I found that it was another book out there. Um, it wasn't, Mayhem and Malice are two different kind of um, characters. But I was so in love with uh, Mayhem and his character. But A Malice Love was amazing as well. And now she has a book called An Insane Love that I'm reading that I just got finished with today. And I see it's going to be a part two, so I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, those are pretty much all of my favorites. I hope that was easy to, um, you know, follow along. But I just kind of want to go in with a couple of more authors who I kind of read here and there. And the thing about all of these authors that I mentioned today they're all in the same like categories like when you go on to uh, Amazon Unlimited and you click on a name it'll show you similar authors so all of these people have show under similar authors and that's kind of how I found them but a couple of um, mentions I want to do is uh, Misha Mesh she's a good one Mercedes G she's a good one as well Ebony Diamond Siobhan Latrice and diamond johnson so all of these authors are very very good and the ones i want to give at the end are some honorable mentions 
um y'all i absolutely love 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 urban fiction books urban novel i especially love like i was telling you guys when the guys are dominant and um kind of in control so those are my favorite 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 type of books and if you guys have any authors or any books that you think i should check out please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section i am always hunting on something to read because i feel like um Right, like right now I have nothing to read and I kind of hate when I do that like when I'm rushing through trying to read a book and then it was always like huh and then you wait on number two to come and then sometimes I kind of hate reading in between books because then you sometimes forget what was going on with the last book so yeah um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this stupid little bug whatever it is flying around is getting on my nerves the light I guess it's drawn to that light and um it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm, I hope I'm, I wasn't I wasn't all over the place this time and you guys can follow it well and like I said I do look forward to doing um videos um more like this I've been going through my most viewed videos and seeing which videos you guys are wanting to see the most and trying to recreate those and update those so yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i enjoyed actually sitting down talking to you guys about what i like is you know especially like i know when people research something like this they're into that as well so it's nice having something in common with people um out there i do have a couple of people that read as well but it's also nice to have other people out there who are kind of reading and you guys can give me feedback on what to read next and I can continue to update you guys on what I'm reading and what I'm liking, okay? So I won't make this any longer. It hasn't been too, too bad. So big kisses. And I'll see you guys in the next video.